I like it. Well, not bad at all. It doesn't hit the fuel tank. It snowed last night. Kind of melted off already, but it's cold again. I'm sick of this weather. We're working on the rat back today. So we got to get the bed and get it in the shop again and cut all the parts off of it we don't need, get it shortened up, see if we can make it fit on the truck. So that's our business, we'll get going. Let me get a tape measure real quick. How wide was this thing? 35? 42. I was way off. 47. All right, so basically what we've got to do is flip this thing over and cut these runners off. They don't need to be on there. They're not doing anything for us. We don't need them. And then we'll set the bed on and bolt it down. That easy. It's just going to take us two days to do it all. That's had some carnage in its life. We'll have to pound those straight again to try to fix them a little bit. A bunch of them wore out, we'll have to weld. We got some welding to do. We'll have to figure out how long it is and leave this at the back. Just a lot of cutting. Well, let's pick her back up and go in the shop. Or it's not snowing on us. I'm freezing, dude. Yeah. I forgot my hoodie. I need freaking the hood. All right. Get in by the fire, Hunter. Right. Yeah, boy, you're wet. Let it down now. There you go. in here and now we get to go to work. Well, we want a 13 and a half foot bed. It's right here somewhere. So the end of this gets cut clear off. Let's leave that middle piece if we can. If it doesn't hit anything, it might be right. Six and a half inches. What did I say it was? 100 or 56? 167 inches. 56 and then I got to come back. A foot and a half foot and a half so where does that put it right there it's gonna hit it's gonna set right on top of it going to <laughs> your luck. that's how it is so we'll have to cut that off too all right we'll save it because one day when i have time and ambition i may take and put rollers on the side of this and make it a rollback still we're not gonna yeah. make it so we can't right now i just need this truck done and running currently this is how it's gonna be and we may love it like this and not even worry about it ever. It's gonna work. Yep. What's that gonna give us for tire clearance? That's seven inches. So we'll have 10 inches of tire clearance. And we can't get 10 inches of travel anyway. We can only get six. Well, won't your dually stick out farther than the overhang? No. Nope. Really? That'll be sweet. According to my calculations, no. Okay. We haven't even told everybody <laughs> that we're putting duels on it yet. Oops. Come with me up here. <laughs> the dually wheels finally got here. We're putting these on the back. So it's gonna take some some stuff because this is a non-dually rear end. So it's gonna take some spacers and some stuff to make it work. Plus we still wanna stick with the same size of tire. So that's gonna be a little more complicated. You gotta space the duels apart so they don't rub. But it's always gonna have, it always was gonna have duels on it. We just didn't know how they were gonna fit. And we're to that point, we're gonna get duels on it. Uh, we left Sean and Hunter at the shop, cut the bed apart. Me and Michelle, we loaded up the tanks and the trailer. We're headed to St. George to get some supplies. We need more argon to weld aluminum. We need some CO2 to weld some metal. Just some parts, the nuts, bolts, those kinds of things. That sounds really boring. Yeah, today was the perfect day for that. <laughs> and uh, turns out we need a lawnmower now too. So we're gonna get that. Weird. You guys will Weird. figure out shortly why I need a new lawnmower. It's it's coming. Okay, the beds pretty much quit dripping. The shop warm back up. We got a lot of cutting right here. So we're just gonna go down both sides and buzz the welds. 
these pieces will be kind of hard because they're up under insides. It'll take a minute to get this front cut off, but we're hoping, hoping to get both of these off and then we'll skill saw the front once these runners are out of the way. I wish we had two plastic I know, cutters. if we had two, it'd go quick. Because we're gonna be here in a minute, so. I guess we'll just go for it, see how long it takes. Yep. An hour? Both of them? I bet it takes a minute. It takes a while. I bet so. It throws aluminum a lot farther. It's nasty, it too. It cuts yeah. it. it. It cuts good, but it's, we're going to have some cleanup. All right, so we finally got it all grinded up. That took forever. Went through every single battery. So now we got to take it. See, look at that, watch it. That is nasty. We're gonna go pressure wash it. It's disgusting. By then, hopefully Paul will be back and we'll know if we need to cut it here and then take that off and then cut there and take that off and then weld this back to there or if we can just cut that to that out and get rid of all that. But he didn't answer our phone call, so we will do other things till he gets here. Well, in other news, we never filmed the entire day we were at St. George. We're terrible at our job. Yeah, but we got some stuff done and- We got us a lawnmower. Yeah, we had to get a lawnmower and now we're on our way home, so. Hopefully those guys got a bunch done on the on the bed. Well, this isn't very ideal. But we'll pressure wash what we can. We may have to roll it the other way, get both top sides, but we'll get it cleaner than it is now. That's pretty clean. We're, uh, we're gonna let it drip dry for a minute. Then we'll pack it in the shop and tomorrow we'll uh, decide which sections we're cutting out cut it in half and shorten it, probably get it on the truck. Okay, that's the middle. We got 42 inches exactly. What's half of 42? <laughs> 21. 21, right? Okay, that's where the frame sets. Should be on the outside of that that we need the two by four. It's gonna be right there somewhere. So we gotta make sure all of those are flat. That's the most oh, oh, yeah, worst right part. Right in the worst part. That's could, not luck. Couldn't be outside. So my luck continues. I mowed my lawn last night with the new lawnmower and the fuel pickup fell off inside the tank. So it's, I gotta go up there and siphon the gas out of it and put the fuel pickup back on it. Other than that, it's a good mower. We're gonna get welder going today. We're gonna weld all of these little cuts that are in this from everything being wore out. We're gonna straighten all of those, weld them back together, and then we're gonna cut this thing down and set it on top of that. That's the plan, so we'll see how that goes. We picked up some Brunt stuff. I'm gonna show you guys what we got. If you're not familiar with what Brunt workwear is, well, those boots right there, those are Brunt's. 
don't think these, oh, look at that. These pants, they're brunt. I've been wearing them for a year now, maybe a little longer than a year. And, oh, those are the pants. Those are extra little guy size, must be hunters. <laughs> yeah. Um, brunt leather conditioner. One thing about Sweet. brunt pants, they have thicker pants and they have lightweight pants too. So these, they got all sorts these of are the lightweight. I got some thicker ones to give a try. We'll see how those work out. All right, we're gonna throw those okay. down there. Slip-ons, that's got Sean written that's all over mine. that. That's what I'm after, right there. Some eight fives. Those are mine. They make women boots, guys. It says right on it. They make chick shoes, right there. Put those I, on. I plan on wearing these when Put we go like, off-roading and stuff, you guys. <laughs> this may come as a shock to you guys but I didn't quite come prepared in the shoe department to Oregon. I wanna, I've never seen you wear like work boots. These guys are gonna be new boots goofing here shortly. Oh, new boot goofing. Look how, how fast cute is these that are. camera? Those are just cute. Cause once I strap these boots on, I don't know if you can keep up with me <laughs> around the shop. You guys are gonna have to have a race. I'm gonna show you how many miles I've walked. Check out the, how much tread I've wore off those bad boys. Pretty good. Not a stitch. How comfortable are they? I love them. They're super comfortable. If you look, there's not a stitch that's popped on them anywhere yet. They're pretty dang good. So they make a whole bunch of different varieties of boots. If you look at Michelle's, she bought the lined version because she's always cold. Me, on the other hand, I like the unlined version. Oh yeah. You need a chair. Do I look like it? I'm yeah. not that old. Oh. My one leg feels so much faster right now than the other <laughs> one. I can't even believe it. Oh, look at that. Those are pretty durable. My brother painted them black. They're tough enough to be painted. So these guys are rubbing their new boots down with the leather, leather conditioner. conditioner. Getting them all, uh, it'll help break them in a little bit. There's a little bit of break in, but not a lot on these boots. They're awesome. You can try them for 30 days. If you don't like the boots, you can send them back, get your money back. If you guys want $10 off your order, put in code FABRATS10, plus it's free shipping for boots. So, we love Brunt. Woo, got my bell bottoms on with my boots. What's the Laney Wilson pants? Yep, I got my Laney Wilson. Hers are more frilly than jeans. All right, I think we need to go race these bad boys now, see how fast we are. Who's filming? No one. I'll film. Oh Whoa. no. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Let's do it. Be the Ready? Only one running. I do too. Go. <laughs> My boots wouldn't start. I'm fast. Sean. I'm fast. I'm fast. I'm fast. Now we just gotta clean it. Holy jeez. I know a guy. It doesn't. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it doesn't seem to have to be as clean as like pig welding. Just above us. Let's see if that's one pass. I think we're winning here. Miller sent us the parts for this welder to fix it because we, we burned it up. We burned the drive motor up in it. We put it all back together and decided we were going all aluminum with it. So we bought a push-pull gun. We've got to weld all these little gaps. Then we got to straighten those and weld them back up. Then we cut this bed off. Sounds easy, right? Semi 
That's perfect. You're asking for a lot, but. Uh, that'll go. It'll go. We'll weld on it, get it hot, bend it, weld on it, get it hot, bend it. It'll go. Yeah, 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 just about done welding. Uh, we've decided to just plasma the front of this off. So we're just going to follow this flat edge. I'll cut this off and we're just going to have to cut the worst sections out. We can't bend them, they're just breaking. So we're going to cut them out, straighten them, and then we'll just weld them back in once they're straight. So. Should I cut these from the outside or the inside? Does it matter? What? It's only welded on the inside. It doesn't matter. setting on there tonight. What's the overall length? 13.6? Hunter, let's go do some measure real quick. All right, so we're gonna, coming out to the, the hot rod stash. We're gonna do some measure taping and see what cars are actually gonna fit on this rollback and which ones won't. We know the FJ will. Let's just do a quick measure. 62 inches from front to back tire. Let's see if the Packard fits. Packard will fit, but barely. Let's see if the, if the 55 fits. Oh, with room to spare on this one. This one's shorter, this one will fit easy. We know we can haul those. What do you think about the Willys? 12 foot in, or 12 foot. We're 13 and a half feet on our bed. What about the free truck? We gotta try the free truck, just in case. A modern vehicle or... Okay. Woo, free truck's gonna be tight. Right there's the end of the bed. Well, the tire will fit. The tire will fit on it. Okay. Free truck will fit. I think it's gonna haul whatever we need. Let's go see the tow truck. It'll fit. Really? It'll load. I don't know weight-wise if it'll load. We'll probably try it, but we'll see. All right, so Sean's taking care of a mess up here. He's cutting all those rope pieces out, and we're gonna harvest some good parts from what we're cutting off to weld back into it. So by the end of today, well, in, a, in an hour, it'll be shorter. It'll be way shorter. We're losing almost four feet of this bed, so. Just going for it? Just going for it. It's time. It's about to be shorter. Okay, it's close. Did I just jump on jump it? On there, Oh, all right. 
shorter. A whole bunch of cleaning, grinding, and welding left to do. I like shorter. it. Shorter. Shorter. Back from track practice, these guys got it all finished up. That looks way better than what it did earlier today. So, I guess we just put the front back on this thing and see if we can get it good. Then we'll flip it over, set it on the truck, and see if it actually fits. I hope those it new does. tape measures don't work. If they don't, man, I am giving them all back. <laughs> Sending them to whoever sent them. Like, you keep this tape measure. Why? Yep. I don't know. I think it's gonna be dang close. I'm a smart person. Uh, got all the welder and stuff ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just we were just testing. This one's pretty close. How's yours? Close. I'm filling this part right in here. You can go up just barely. There is about pretty close, but is it? Uh, it's not flat on here. Yeah, that, mine's not either. They're down that's just to the bottom of that. Yeah. Good. That's pretty close on the bottom of here, though. I think it's really close. We'll probably stay there. Sweet. Heck yeah. Just that's cool. Curiosity sakes, grab a tape measure. And let's see if we calculated. What's this it supposed to be? 13.6. Oh, give me the dumb, or Come the smart on. end. I got the dumb end, I can handle that. We didn't calculate that. That's 13 foot nine inches to the end of that. That may get cut off if we just have the, around the things in front. I don't know yet, we'll look at it and see how it fits up against the headache rack and everything. We may lose those, cut that off, and and then just build a thing around the winch. I'm happy with it. It's close enough to what we need. That's the theme of this build, close enough. Test my welds. We'll see if they hold. Woohoo! They didn't break right off. Yep, set her down. We'll take these off.
right, let's see what this really looks like. Watch these kill cool things. Okay. You're good. You've still got two feet. Keep on coming. Set her down. Not bad at all. It doesn't hit the fuel tanks. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it, was gonna do. it definitely needs the dual wheels put on it, which we can do. I'm thinking we may have to cut that. I want that bed. I want this. Oh. Clear up to the front. See, that sets the winch perfect right there, though. It does. But I'm not against cutting that out. I'm digging it. This Man, is, that looks good. It does look good. It's so much better now. So if we would have went with the original plan, you imagine this bed 15 inches taller. That's where it would have set. It was terrible. Wasn't going to do what we needed it to. You can open the boxes with it down. Yep. Oh, yeah. We should have bet on that. We should have bet I, on that. I would have lost money on the fuel tanks. Yeah. This thing's gonna look freaking sweet. It's way good. Well, that's six more inches forward that it'd gain us. Probably four or five. Let's grab a tape and see what it is from headache to end overall. Welding the front back on was a good call. It looks way better like that. Do you paint it or do you leave it that color? What? The bed. Oh, we're gonna polish it. You're gonna make it look mirror? Like I don't know about mirror. But oh, chrome-ish. A little shinier. We'll buff all the rough edges off of it. Yeah. Trade me size. You take the, you take the smart one. That gives you a 14, basically 14 foot bed right there. What was that car? Do you remember? I don't. The tow truck was the longest. They were close. Let's go measure. 166 the tire will be on 166 is right there so it fits <laughs> so it would barely fit yeah the free See truck it. would barely fit i think i want to cut it off and make it weld a piece of that two by four right into here and put it across we're not going to gain we're not going to lose any bed it would look cleaner because that looks pretty bad i agree <laughs> we're just doing some testing here Theories. I think it's gonna work. There's the rest flat. Just almost like right we there. thought. Yep. Sweet. You can drive up on that. I don't know why that's not gonna just work. Holy. We put her in the dirt. I don't know that you can drive up that. You could jump it really far if you hit it. Oh. I like it. We still got some stuff to figure out. We're waiting for our aluminum to attach this with. But, man, this thing's going to be... I can't wait to go use it. It's going to be good. We're getting it. Does it look good? Yeah, yeah. It I think does. it looks pretty cool. We gotta get the dual wheels put on it. We still got tons of welding left. But I think it's good. Alright, next time you guys see this thing, we'll have it all welded up and we'll be ready to add uh, actually attach this bed permanently. And we'll load something on it and we'll go uh, drive around and see how sketchy it is, see if we can haul stuff on it. So I know we've done a bunch of stuff wrong. I've read the comments, but I think it's right now. So thanks for watching.